All right, y'all. Uh, Shelly Winter, conservative talk show host out of Atlanta. He joins us right now. Uh, Shelly, uh, y- your boy looked like a damn fool embarrassing himself. Oh, Kamala Harris. Uh, when did she become black? When I met her, she was Indian. Uh, and then he starts off immediately insulting uh, Rachel Scott at ABC, who was literally repeating back to him words, his own words. Uh, and so uh, do you f- do you defend uh, Donald Trump's actions today in Chicago? Well, first of all, it's a pleasure being on here. Um, I appreciate the invitation. Um, but look at how you started the question. Uh, you, you see what I'm saying? This whole day is is broken down into exactly how you just started the question. Your boy looked like a damn fool today. Oh, okay, so now where do I go from there? And then you ask me if I'm defending him. Defending what part of a of a hour? Some uh, no, 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 no. Actually, 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 actually Shelly, I was very specific, and that is, I, I, no, no, not Shelly, Shelly. I was very specific okay. when I said he opened up with he. Not Shelly, hold on, he, Shelly. Yes. He opened up with a direct attack on Rachel Scott. Shelly, I will finish the question. You can answer. He opened yes. up with a he opened up with a direct attack on Rachel Scott in terms of where mm-hmm. she repeated words that he had actually said and then oh uh the most horrible question how you just mistreat me uh and you you know fake news you're at abc not want to answer the question he turned it into a personal attack on rachel scott is that how somebody a commander-in-chief should to behave I don't know if it's a way to behave when you're walking into a hostile, willingly, obviously, into a hostile situation and you're getting the first question. The question was hostile? hostile question. Well, yeah. If How you was it hostile? This, I'll tell you, because every single How person. How was it hostile? That, I mean, every single person, everything that, he, that she asked him was something he was responding to attacks from others. For instance, she said, you attacked three African-American female journalists. Well, yeah, he did. He also attacked Jim Acosta. He also attacked Chris Cuomo. He also attacked every reporter who came at him, which is why he came up with the term fake news. Look, if we want to play this game, like Robert said, I would have rather, I thought Harris Faulkner is not getting any credit because she actually asked the best questions, which were, what are you going to do on your first day? Why are you here? What are the policies you want to do for black people? Actually, her, ac- and, 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 actually, 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 her questions were trash. Finish. No, no, actually, her, actually, her questions oh, were wait, trash. Wait, wait. Oh, Harris Faulkner question. should have never so, been on so that. No, no, no. Issue, Harry, Harris is, Faulkner is, should have never been on that panel. At, Harris wow. Faulkner should never wow. be on the panel or anybody wow. from Fox News after Fox News settled for seven hundred and eighty seven wow. million dollars wow. a lawsuit where they advanced the Donald right. Trump's That's lies she, by the twenty twenty election. She didn't, she didn't they, they 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 lost they lost they lost their, oh, their, they so lost their credibility and integrity CNN. on that. Double and she, CNN. No, nope, no, nope. she should have not been on that stage. Double CNN and three times MSNBC. You're in this business. No. You know what ratings I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Matter. I'm sorry. Were they sued? Matter. It doesn't no, 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 matter. No, 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 no. Did, no. did yeah. Fox News advance lies about the 2020 election? Yes or no? Uh, did CNN advance lies for 2022 elect 2020 election? No. And CNN did, is, Shelley, CNN did Fox? Shelly, did Shelly, did Shelly, did Shelly, this is real basic. Shelly, Shelly, this is what makes no sense. Shelly, what's... Shelly, what's so silly is Not you can't CNN even win this argument lie. because Not Rupert Murdoch, Rupert advanced. Murdoch had to sign. Rupert, Rupert Murdoch had to agree to a seven hundred and eighty-seven million dollars yeah. settlement because right. they knowingly advance lies, eat Donald Trump's no. lies, even though they know they it know, was false. They knowingly advance Tucker Carlson's lies, which is why he got fired. So now let's move back to Harris Falls. No, 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 Shelly, no, Shelly, no, Shelly. See, Shelly, this. Is the problem. No, no, Shelly. Shelly, it wasn't. First of all, Shelly, Shelly, actually, Shelly, factually, Shelly, factually, Shelly, Shelly, factually, you're wrong. First of all, Tucker Carlson was rarely even mentioned in the depositions. Lou Dobbs, Maria Bartiromo, and a host of others, Laura Ingram and others. This was a widespread. This was widespread. I, I, no, no, Shelly, 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 we don't lie on this show. Shelly, we don't lie on this show. It was known from the top to bottom. Rupert Murdoch, Suzanne Scott, the CEO. Shelly, Shelly, hold on. Numerous hosts. 
n- numerous reporters, numerous producers, num- they, they, this was a system-wide massive lie, and that's what they did. So how can you say it was just Tucker? How was how was was Harris Faulkner one? Simple question. No. So let's now go back to why you have me on here. Harris, Fa- on a- Harris Faulkner. No. Harris Faulkner. Harris Faulkner is with a network. Well, first of all, first of all, first of all, having you on the Trump debacle at in, in NABJ actually changed it. Let me ask you this next question: Do you do, do you find it strange? That he would, that Donald Trump would talk about how, well, I thought she was Indian and now she's claiming she's black. Do you find that to be offensive to African Americans, suggesting that this woman, who's black as well as Indian, where he says, oh, she's now claiming to be black? I don't, uh, I wouldn't have advised, so let me answer that question and please give me time to answer it. I didn't, uh, under, I didn't, no, no, no. Uh, I, I asked the question. Go get your answer. Go ahead. Yeah, I didn't like the answer. I wouldn't have advised him to answer that. But I do understand the political ram, uh, the political attack in the answer, because what he's doing is he's talking to because we know there are a number of what I call autos people, autos type, for lack of a better word. There are a number of African-Americans who don't believe she's authentically black. So he's talking to that issue. And he's also playing up the quote unquote, unquote, is she phony? Is she playing a game? Is she black when she needs to be something else when she doesn't need to be married to a white guy? All of those things that that answer. Now, I wouldn't have advised him to answer that way because I think it would have been if you call into question too many of things that you've already been attacked on. So I would never have advised it. But politically, and this is all politics, politically, it plays well to that black audience that you're picking up who don't trust her or like her. And we do know if you step outside your bourgeois boule crew, you know people, working class African Americans don't trust her and they don't like her. So now that is a that does play well politically. I wouldn't have advised it. Not at all. I would well, actually, well, well, actually, actually, Shelly, well, ac- well, actually, actually, Shelly, I dare say uh, you could talk about your bourgeois, whatever the heck. I guarantee you I spend more time for, around working black, uh, working class black folk, regular black folk that you can even think about. Uh, so that so that, so that, that, that little cute comment, Kiss Shelly, that little cute little comment you made there is utterly I'm irrelevant saying, to saying, me. Let me also ask you this I'm here. When Don, Shelly, I'm going you this here. Shelly, first, Shelly, I'm going to ask you another question. When Donald Trump, when Donald Trump, when Donald Trump, uh, sat there and began to lie about abortions in the ninth month. That's a lie. That was a flat out lie. Why does he keep lying about that? Because there are a number of people on a Republican side who are taking, um, I forgot the Virginia governor's the candidate. He was a Virginia governor, ran for real, uh, ran for election again and lost. Uh, Terry, I forgot his last name, um, who had proposed that. Then Terry McAuliffe. It, but it's so, a lie. So, uh, it's a lie. And he keeps saying it. So so why does he keep advancing a lie? Well, because there are people who have talked about abortion, late term abortion. Now, what Republicans are doing is playing the same game. Ninth, that you play is, is late term abortion ninth month? Late term abortion. Actually, They're actually, I don't play games. Uh, all right, uh, you do. I don't play games. I deal in, I deal in, I deal in they, facts. They, are, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm, no, I'm repeating what I'm repeating what he said. You're calling the game. It's not a game to me. This is real life. And I'm answering. And I'm answering the question. The question is that there are Democrats who want late term abortions. Republicans take that and to mean eighth, ninth month abortions. I don't think I don't agree. But they lie. They're not, lying. What do you mean they're lying? There are there are Democrats who want late term abortions. They are. They are. Okay. Stacey what I'm, saying, what I'm saying is. Um, Robert Patillo's here in Georgia. Stacey Abrams wanted late-term abortions. Listen, man, um, about the lies, you know, PolitiFact checked all the lies. Most of the lies, uh, he said um, uh, that Kamala Harris didn't pass uh, the bar exam. She didn't her first time. Many Millions of people don't pass the first time. Millions of great lawyers didn't pass the first two or yep. three times. That's no, yep. that's no, that is no yep. harbinger whether you're smart or not. So I didn't agree with that attack either. But so I let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. 
I get you a political question, Shelley. Why, why does, why does, I got to ask you, why does Donald Trump keep lying about HBCUs? Today, he talked about how they were going broke, how I gave them a lifeline. He's lying. According to Dr. Walter Kimbrough, who was a three-time HBCU president, Donald Trump, right. in three consecutive budgets, actually cut HBCU funding. The program Donald Trump cited, his own budget zeroed that program out. It was Congresswoman right. Alma Adams of North Carolina who actually, I'm not, I'm not done, I'm not done, I'm not done. It was, con no, no, I said, he, but he's, it was Congresswoman, Congresswoman Al Alma Adams who put it back in the budget. He's lying. And, I, and, and this is, this is... I heard you say it. I've heard you say it on your show, so you don't have to go through it again. I heard you say it to the guy that you just showed the video of. I saw the video. So why does he keep lying? He's not, he's not lying because it's semantics. Like I said, he's lying. Issue of issues. Issue of so hold issues. Hold up, Shelly. Shelly, Shelly, I'm confused. Shelly, I'm confused. Shelly, hold up, Shelly. Shelly, I'm confused. If Trump's budget zeroes the program out, meaning they want and to cut the program, the House, and, and it requires... He zeroes it out from the Department of... See, this is what I'm saying. It's semantics. You zero out from under the Department of Education and move it to the White House and $250 million, which you know went to under the Future no. Act, to HBCUs. Yes, $255 million. See, you're playing semantics. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shelly, 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 what you just said is factually wrong. The program that you're speaking of... No, Shelly, 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 Shelly. Let, Shelly, let me help you with facts. The program you're speaking right. of is $250 million. Only $90 million of that went to HBCUs. The other, other right, $160 no. million went to Hispanic-serving institutions. So he's even lying about the number. Right. So listen, so you said he zeroed it out. So let's go back to that. So now let me finish answering your question. Because that $90 million ain't, ain't zeroing it out. So let me answer your question. So, so there's the semantics. Issuesofhighereducation.com, they, they talked about this, and anybody can Google it listening to me right now, and you'll see the HBCU presidents all said that Donald Trump was good. There was a yes and a no. He was good, and, he, and there were some areas where he's taking credit for things that were bipartisan. My question, my answer to that is, well, doesn't president, doesn't every politician take credit for the work of what they sign? Presidents take credit for what they sign into office. Every congressman that voted on the Futures Act, bipartisan, Republican and Democrat, to their constituents and said, I got through the Futures Act. Everyone does it. That's politics. But you said he so zeroed it out. So, so, your, so, so in your world, so, so in your world, so, in, so Shelly, in your world, in your world, in your world, Ronald, in your world, Shelly, Ronald Reagan, Shelly, in your world, Ronald Reagan could take credit for signing uh, the bill to make Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday a national holiday, even though he opposed it the entire time. But because he signed it, oh, he's going to take credit. Here's the bottom line. By, under Biden Harris, HBCUs have received more money than they ever I'm not done. And by, under Biden Harris, HBCUs have received more money than they ever have in American history. What Donald Trump is saying is a lie. Donald Trump did not provide, he did not provide a guaranteed lifeline to HBCUs. He did not. The, he's talking about a program that was two hundred and fifty million and they provided billions. Come on, Doc. Uh, so by Jerron Case is a man you should go to and ask him what Joe I mean what um what, Hey, I've uh, talked I, I, hey I, 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 hey Shelly, Shelly, I've talked to Jerron and guess what? The fact of the matter is this here. If you had to compare <laughs> Trump Pence, Biden, Harris, it's not even comparison who has helped HBCUs more. Here's the last question I have for you. And here's the last question I have for you. And I'm, I really hope you can answer this question. Before Trump left the White House, we had to be forced out. I sent an email to the White House saying, I need y'all to provide the data of what has been the impact on empowerment zones. No one has presented that. I had a black pastor from Baltimore who was with Trump and with the announcement. Six months, hold up, hold up, Shelly, I'm going to answer it. Six months later, that brother came on my show and he said, this is this has been a failure. Uh, Robert, well, real quick, just what is the impact of the left field before you have to hop on? So the data, I've been looking for the data as well, Robert, and I'll be, I'll be totally honest with you. I can't find the data either, and I don't think many people can. One of the problems that I think exists is that Opportunity Zones came along, I think, the 
third, I think the second late part, latter part of the second or into the third year of Donald Trump's term. And I think it was not well promoted. I think there were a lot of attacks on it on, uh, from the press, from the media, from Democrats. And I think that's where it got lost. But I've been asking the same question. The, the program is there, but I can't find out. You know, Many of us can't find out how to get in touch with it. Um, we have people in Atlanta who worked on it. I remember there was a meeting, uh, Coca-Cola, I believe, where a bunch of black businessmen came. They heard a presentation about it. They heard about different areas like Campbellton Road that was going to be under that um, uh, impact opportunity zone process. So I, I have the same question, to be quite honest with you. But the program exists. Now, how effective is it, has it been? I don't know. But I can name hundreds of programs that have been implemented by government that don't work or, or we don't You're have right. any data it, on. But, but, but Shelly, but, but, yeah, but, but here's my whole deal, Shelly. When somebody comes in front of me and touts a program, how great it's been for black people, here's the deal, though. I want to see the data. Now, if the program is as great as they are describing, I will say it, but there's no data to back up the assertion. My brother, that's a fair attack. That's a fair attack. I'll give you that one fair attack throughout the whole night. Um, I will tell you, though. I, uh, well, I will well, first of all, you don't have to give it to me because I got I got four or five. But go ahead. Here, make your final comment. Uh, make your final comment before I got to go to break. My final comment is this. I think that one, I think that it was bold move for him to go to the NABJ. I don't agree with the other panelists who say he shouldn't have been there. He shouldn't have been invited because you had pointed out yesterday that he had been invited since he, 2016. He just never went. He decided to go now because it's it's a good thing to do. Right. Um, I don't think that anybody should say he shouldn't have been there. Um, they shouldn't have invited him. This is a, a convention full of journalists who are supposed to ask questions. What I will say is I disagree with um, with you and Robert when you say you would have because you guys were asked. You guys were setting up what would have been a debate with Donald Trump, not a question and answer, which is what it was designed to be. Um, and so I, I do. I think it was a good thing that he went. Uh, I think the uh, 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 she is now black. I thought that was mishandled from the very beginning. I would have stayed on the young lady, Miss Scott, not knowing the definition of DEI. I would have pushed her there. Um, I would have kept on that on that. She knew it. Until until, of course she did it, but she didn't answer it. So I would have kept on that. What I'm saying is when you're in these situations and you're in a hostile environment and clearly one, at least one, the middle young lady was trying to play it fair and Harris, Harris was trying to play it fair. What you guys wanted was a debate with Donald Trump. And I don't think that was just, that would have been bad. If no, not true. not true. Not true. I'm talking. I'm no, I'm actually, no, actually, actually, no, no, no. No, it's what not true. Was, no, no, we, we, I would say me and Robert, me and Robert wouldn't want to debate. We would, we would actually want him to answer the question. Shelley, we would want him to answer the questions asked. And the bottom line is, what he did was he filibustered, he moved around, and he didn't do it. I know you got to do your radio show. I know you got to do your radio show. I got to go to a break. We'll have you back. Love you. Shelley Winner, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Curl Prep Natural Hair Solutions at CurlPrep.com. I'm in shock. For curls, locks, braids, twists, and even those wigs and extensions. Women, men, and children are loving this line. Look at this video and you be the judge. People line up to see this product in action at hair shows, and when they take a seat and try it, they don't believe it's their hair. Buy the products at curlprep.com. It works on all hair types. Use code ROLAND, that's R-O-L-A-N-D, lowercase letters, to get a 15% discount. Parents, remove the ouch. You will love this system because you can comb the product through your child's hair with your fingers. It's all at curlprep.com. Use code ROLAND, lowercase letters, to get a 15% discount.